Canada. Let's go see if they have Bakugan. Now I'm really, really hyped for this, and they had six days to do so, so I'm really, really sure that they're gonna have Bakugan today. So let's go inside. So I'm first gonna be just like looking at the card game aisle, and it should be around here, and uh, let's see if Bakugan is in the card game aisle like it's supposed to be because it's a trading- Okay, it's not here. Doesn't look like it's here, so I'm just gonna check around the Beyblade where I think it was told- like a lot of people said it would be, and uh, I really- I don't know why it's not in the card game aisle, like it is a trading card game now, so it should be there, and uh, um, Beyblade aisle, I'm just gonna try finding it, uh, I don't know where it is, wow. Uh, well, this is the exact spot where Beyblade was supposed to be, what is going on here, there's no Beyblades here, there's that stadium there, but yeah, okay, um, it's not on the other side. Alright, that's just sad. I'm just gonna check if they have any Bakugan in the boxes, and it doesn't really look like there's any Bakugan. There's some stuff from Spin Masters, but it's just like doll toys. Now, this is Screechers Wild, and it's the closest thing we got to Bakugan yet, and it's just a turning mech card ripoff. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna look at the stadium. Now, this is all they have for Beyblade. That's disappointing. They have Fortnite figures, yet yeah, no. Back and gone. This Fortnite set is $84. Alright, that's very disappointing. Walmart doesn't have anything. So, um, I'm gonna try going to Toys R Us and see if Toys R Us has anything. It's really cold outside today. It's probably gonna snow soon. But yeah, Walmart doesn't have anything. Well, time to go to Toys R Us. So now we're in Toys R Us. Now, this Toys R Us is actually very good in stocking Beyblades, so I don't think they should have any problem stocking Bakugan. So, I do believe that Bakugan in Toys R Us is supposed to be next to the uh, Beyblade aisle. And uh, that's just actually just the other. I mean, there's no trading card game aisle, at least not that I see anymore. Like, there's no Pokemon cards here anymore, so that's kind of de depressing. depressing. But right here is the Beyblade Burst Evolution World Tour setup that they had. Nothing there. And now we're into the Beyblade aisle right around here. And, uh, wow, these Beyblades look insane, man. They look really cool. Whoa. Um, what is that red stadium? It doesn't look like Beyblade. Um, yeah, um, they don't- I mean, this is close to Bakugan, but this is not my Bakugan, my boy. That's Mech card. Mech card's garbage. Like, they don't have- this, this is not Bakugan. And it's all on clearance, too. $9. That's not good enough for me. Like, if it was, like, $5, probably I'd buy it. But, like, $9? No. Whoa, they got- oh, no. They don't got it. Alright. Very disappointing, but now we're just gonna head out and head home. Now, uh, once I get to the end of the video, I'm actually just gonna make a rant video, and, uh, I'll have a live stream later on today or tomorrow, talking about the Bakugan fiasco, whatever is going on, and I'm really disappointed that not I, that there's no Bakugan here, like, uh, Zionic later also didn't find any Bakugan, thought I would find Bakugan, really disappointed. Alright, so, uh, thought I'd give you guys something interesting. Here's the car wash. Yay.
Alright, so now we're in the rant part of the video, and I'm really mad, but I got a message for Spin Master, and that message really pertains to what Bakugan really is now. One, Bakugan, at least Bakugan Battle Planet, is not a, t it's not a toy anymore. Bakugan is a TCG. Bakugan should not be released like a toy! This is the same problem with Beyblade, where they they just say that it's gonna be like, uh, Winter 2018, or... Winter 2019 or Spring 2019 and they're just gonna release it like anywhere from 2019 to 2020. They're gonna throw it at any time they want, right? But like, this, this is a trading card game, which is very, which is gonna be very, very competitive and the fan base is gonna be really, really mad at Spin Master if they keep on releasing things like this, where only a select few parts of a continent or the first country that they're actually gonna release it in, get it. Now they said North America gets it in January 1st. Well, Canada's in North America. Why didn't we get it? Like, the Spin Master had this ideology where they believe that United States of America is the only North America. No, kiddo, there's three countries in North America. It's really disappointing that they don't even know what North America is. North America is a continent, not a country, it's saying, guys. So, uh, there's really no reason to write North America if you're only gonna release it in America. And, uh, I know Zeonic Blader also asked Spin Master and Walmarts and a bunch of other, uh, retailers and companies, uh, not companies, uh, retailers about Bakugan. And they're just like, we don't know. I went to Toy Walmart today and, uh, they didn't even have Beyblades, which was pretty disappointing, but, like, they don't even know what Bakugan is. I went to Toys R Us. They have absolutely no clue about Bakugan. They, they still believe Bakugan is over. Like, it ended in 2012 and it won't come back ever. They haven't even been told about Bakugan Battle Planet. Which is pretty insane. Like, is Spin Master not communicating with these uh, uh, retailers outside of America? Or is it just the fact that they believe North America only is America, which is very disappointing, and uh, I was really hyped for Bakugan, but if they're not gonna have a strict release date, like something like Yu-Gi-Oh, then I'm really not excited for the future of Bakugan, especially if they want it to be a competitive trading card game. If they continue as they are doing now, Bakugan surely will flop.